Inspector Sinetti here. We're going to do a new battle report. I'm going to kind of break off and try to do something very unique, I think, that's been out there. I'm going to call this a character battle report, um, which is more like I'm going to add a lot more personality to, I think, a lot of units. So not much of a banter battle report. You've been watching those. Or a recap battle report. It's going to be a lot more character involved. So it's going to be a lot more enjoyable, kind of like following along what's happening. We've got a very interesting army. I'll go over that in the army introduction. My opponent today is going to be Steve Amish Jr. Secord. He's going to be going against me with Blood Angels. We figured out we are doing uh, Annihilation Dawn of War, right? Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, you have, I've, I won the roll off. I've made Steve decide he's going to go first. He's already choosing the terrain. We'll go over the, um, the area for that. And uh, we hope you have a good battle. One last thing, though, I'm going to throw because it's a character battle report. Steve's character, HQ character, he's using the Feast on. He's going to be going against my Emperor. And what I'm going to challenge you is, if you can defeat the Emperor in hand-to-hand -hand combat, whatever amount of wounds you put on the Emperor that are unsaved, I'm going to, you get to roll a die on anything of that many wounds and less that you roll. Um, we'll have captured the Emperor. He will no longer be pretty much in, in my play. I'll, I'll, I'll throw another character in and I do another battle report. So the first challenge to you, the Emperor is, is finally needs to be captured. The Blood Angels are out to do it with Steve here. And uh, we're ready to go down. Ready? All right. All right. How's it going? I'm Steve Amish Jr. for uh, oh, Crossroads. Today I'm going against, I have my Blood Angels versus Imperial Guard. This is what I got. I got Mephisto with, as my HQ. I got two assault squads with double melt, double melt weapons with the Power Fist, two Sanguinary Priests. Got one five man assault squad riding a Laz Plaz Razorback. Got two Devastator squads, all with missiles. We got one one of the Dev squads had bought a Razorback with twin link heavy bolter for a fist to ride in. And lastly, we got a Cypherman, a Rifleman Dreadnought as a heavy choice. All right, so the Emperor is going to be leading the Imperial Guard forces here, the Senator. Right, so we look at the list here. Primus Psyker is what the Emperor is basically using as a, as a stat. We have uh, Snake Eyes, which is more Sly Marble, an elite guard, a veteran unit of Pandora's Black Sheep. We have a regular command platoon. Um, then we have a couple lean Russes, one with a uh, battle tank, two executioners. Um, and everything is fitted as you see, and then we have a veteran of the group, Victor Alexander's uh, Red Devils, which uses Sergeant Bastone stats, and the Shire is coming in force here, just three of them. We couldn't get the rest of the fellowship, so we only got three today, but we'll see what they do. Yeah. All right. That one here. All right. Dawn of War set. Got the Piston and two, two of my 10 minute assault troops out there. Pull them up on the 21st line, just trying to li limit my opponent's ability to maneuver. So you have to stay 18 inches away from me, which gets my guys that need to get up there pretty fast. Yeah. So, uh, corners are my opponent's control, so. I have two systems in my list, and then the minor. Everything is very well. All right. Priest, priest, both moves onto the board. Move your soft squads back for them to be able to join the squad. So they all stay a Two dev squads rolled marks onto the board, as did the rifle as did the rifle and right? yeah. Two tanks moved up. This one's empty, this one's still at the five minute squad. Yeah. And Mephiston as the sec guard moved all the way over there. The Emperor has brought the Spectre Legion now finally on in turn one. Platoon has unified up because this is a kill point mission. So we have that part right there. Battle cannons rolled on. We have the Red Devils and the Chimera moving up here. And there's Black Sheep and their Chimera who moved in the middle. The Rattling Snipers have moved up in the woods. The command team is way over here. Um, two executioners. And the Emperor hidden between the two tanks to hide from the fist on. To play out a little bit of uh, taunting on the fist on to see if they'll come out and uh, come out and play. That's our movement. All right, starting here, um, the Black Sheep and the Chimera will fire into this. Line up, razor back. So I need fours to hit. Two. Eleven need five. Nothing. We're gonna do the same thing with this one here. Same range. 
two hits. And one hits. Now to a mobilization. Yep. Battle cannon. <laughs> Just let you know before you make your plans. I think that will hit the most models. Right. You get four right there. It's not going that way, it's going to go way up. Sorry. Battle cannon misses. The fire, still fire a last cannon into that group. No, that did nothing. No, that one didn't even hit. Hit. And it will kill. Kill a model because I can tell most of the units right there. All right. I'm going back with this tank. This tank's going to fire. First kill. It's going to go one inch. Two inches. Touches one. And it's going to go seven inches. Um, playing this model here. Again, one model. Third shot from the pad. He's dead on, so that's three. So that's five from that. Yep. The one plasma cannon on the side. Doesn't get hot, so we can throw one more on those templates there. And that is. Five, two inches. Yeah, we're, we're, we're stabbing in the lightning from space. So we had a total of six. Four, six. Four, two. That is all six of them. Second tank will fire in the same spot. <laughs> I'm going to get two bottles here. Okay. Plasma cannon again on the top turret. It's going to be six, three inches that way. One model. Second one. Seven inches. I'm going to hit the priest. Look at that. And two inches. So it's one and one, and then we see if we can fire the plasma cannon. Yep. Doesn't get hot. One more plasma cannon. Shot. That's right on for two. So we got three on that squad. That's all of them. And then he will get cover because I'm firing through the uh, building. I'm disabled with him. And doesn't wound him anyways. So I uh, guess that leaves no targets for the Emperor. No targets for them. The dark power of the Emperor's electricity. The psychic test. Six, no panels of the work. Now we're going to check range. 24 inches. He is well out of range, so just makes him actually storm. Let that last guy get some wave. All right, and I think we're going to run the command team into the woods, into the bunker. Five inches. 
here than to cover. Yeah, yeah. And you're not going to mind the stuff on your stomach. So, that first turn, not bad. We got a pretty heavy unit on one hit. Eight, he's loving it. That is my turn. No, it's all. 